Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a hair tutorial for you, obviously. Today I'm going to do a French braid crown braid tutorial. Well, kind of. You'll see. It's super cute. I was playing around with my hair today and I did it and I was like, I have to share with you guys. So if you find this tutorial helpful, I have my little sidekick next to me while I'm filming. <gasps> Say hi. He's chewing on his little sock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the mess everywhere. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did was I just parted my hair down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Um, and I just went all the way back. So I had one section on this side and then I just tied off this section into a bun. So we're doing this just so it's a little bit easier to control the French braid. There's not hair everywhere. Um, but this is the side that I'm going to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover for the rest since Knox is next to me and he's getting a little fussy. So yeah. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this on yourself is to flip your head over like I'm doing and you can see how my right arm is kind of draped across my head. This is very important. Hand placement is critical with this hairstyle. So I'm starting by my ear and I'm just doing a regular three strand braid. So I have three sections of hair. I'm crossing the left section over the middle section and the right section over the middle section. So your first stitch should be a regular three strand braid. Now we're gonna do a French braid. So to do that, we're just going to take a section of hair right by our ear, add it into the outside strand and then cross both of those pieces over that middle section of hair and then we repeat on the other side. So we're adding in a section of hair to the outside strand. So just make sure that you are grabbing the same size section on both sides. And then we're combining it and then crossing them both over that middle section of hair. And then we're just doing this all the way up. So we're just going to take another section of hair right above our ear, add it into that outside strand and then cross them both over that middle section of hair. So an important tip is to make sure none of your pieces are getting tangled. You want them to be nice and smooth when you're crossing them over. So again, taking the outside section and adding in a section of hair with it. So just grabbing it from the back, combining them, crossing them over that middle section of hair. And you can see I'm just kind of smoothing it away so there's no stragglers. So again, um, taking in hair, adding it into the outside section. I do like to take my thumb and my pointer finger when I'm grabbing sections from the front. I just think it's easier. So I'm combining it and then crossing it over the middle section of hair. Taking hair from the back, adding it into that outside section of hair, crossing them both over that middle section. So I'm just gonna keep walking you guys through this. So again, with that front strand of hair, I'm taking my thumb and my pointer finger and I'm adding in a section to that outside strand and then I cross them both over the middle section of hair. I take hair from the back and I'm actually going to take my ponytail out and kind of combine everything so I'm brushing it so you don't see the part. This is important um, and then just continuing the same thing so adding in a section of hair to the outside strand and crossing it over the middle section of hair. So you can see the French braid starting to form and we're just going to keep going. So just adding in a section of hair to the outside strand in the front, crossing them both over the middle section, adding a strand of hair from the back, pulling it up into that outside section and crossing it over the middle. And I think it's a lot easier once you get towards like the middle of your head, then you can really start to see the French braid and see your progress. So just keep going, add in section of hair to the front section, cross it over the middle section, add in a section from the back, and add it into the outside section, cross them over the middle section. We're almost finished, you guys. <laughs> so keep going, add in a section of hair to the front strand, cross it over the middle section, add in a section from the back into the outside strand, cross them over the middle section. If you're not comfortable with a French braid, do not try this hairstyle, it's going to confuse you. Make sure you know how to do a French braid before you even attempt this hairstyle. Um, just cause it's gonna be, this one's a little challenging, even for me. 
So just keep going, adding in hair to that front section, crossing over the middle section, adding in hair from the back section, crossing over the middle section. So you can see we are almost finished. We just have a little bit left to go. Um, so just keep going. It's the same steps, same repetition over and over and over. So once I reached probably the end of my eyebrow, I stopped bending over and I just, I didn't need to anymore because there's not as much hair. So I just kept doing a regular French braid, but I was able to keep my head up. Um, yeah, just thought I would share that. So I just added in my last section of hair and now I'm just doing a regular three strand braid all the way down, tying it off into a clear elastic. Whew, we did it. So now I'm just going to pancake this braid a little bit. I'm gonna do it more when it's in the back of my head, but I just figured I'd do a little bit now. So just kind of pancaking it and pulling on both sides to make it a little bit bigger. Then I'm just going to take that braid and wrap it around the back side of my head. And I'm going to tuck in the end a little bit and then bobby pin it into place. It's not going to look the best right now. I just want to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to pancake the front of my French braid. So I'm just pulling on the back strands of it and just making them a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. I'm also going to pull on the front sections and just kind of loosen them up a little bit. So you're gonna have one side that is going to not be as thick as the other side because we have less hair. So we need to kind of even them out. So that's what I'm doing here. Just kind of playing around with it, pancaking it until I'm happy. Then I'm pulling out hair in the front to make it look a little bit messier. Now I'm gonna go to the back of my head and just pancake it, but I do do this more off camera and I will explain that more to you guys in just a minute, but yeah. Okay, so I am finished with the crown braid. I really like how it turned out. Some things I did off camera um, was I kind of pancaked the back a little bit more and I stuck it into the start of this braid. I don't know if you can tell, um, but I just kind of tucked it in right there and bobby pinned it just so it looked a little bit more continuous. And then I also took a couple bobby pins and just kind of stuck them in this side um, because I do have less hair over here because this is where I started and I ended up with more over here because this is where I had more hair. So that's gonna happen. So you just kind of have to figure out how to make them look even and symmetrical. So I pancaked this side a lot, not so much this side, just a little bit, and then just kind of stuck bobby pins all in it just to kind of lay it flatter to my head and that was it so i think it turned out super cute i really like this hairstyle i can see me wearing this a lot this summer because it gets my hair out of my face off my shoulders and yeah it's just really cute so let me do a quick spin that's the video i hope you guys liked it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up a comment don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in my next one let me know in a comment below what type of video you want me to do next i know a lot of you have asked for a makeup tutorial which i will do if you would like me to and i do want to do one using that revlon brush so any other ideas please leave them down below and we will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah. Tinker, say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye 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 bye. Say bye.